Hi, this is James from 852 Recording. I'm making this short video to show you how I would go about syncing audio that I've recorded on a separate recording device to my audio coming from a camera that I've filmed some footage with. So I'll give you an example. If you see uh, this clip down here that I've just highlighted was recorded simultaneously as well as recording the camera's footage and audio. This was recorded using a separate Zoom H5 recorder. And what I want to do is match the audio so that it's synced. At the moment, if I press play, uh, and I'm just soloing just the camera's audio. Sorry, one sec. Uh, no worries. We are Be back into this property. Come with me. Okay. And I'll play this section again. When you're ready, just tell me literally, just talk us through it. We're going to. As you can hear, they're both completely out of sync. Now, there is a, a easy way to do this. What you want to do is highlight both sections of what you're trying to sync up. And you would right click. And once you right click on the clip that you want to sync with the camera's audio, you select this area here, which is called auto align clips. Go to based on waveform because that's what we're going to base it on today click that you'll see it doing its process and voila it's just snapped in place now if i press play now and i mute the camera's audio you will find that the audio is in sync sorry one sec uh, now, be back into this property come with me now i'm going to undo that step because if you noticed in this area it had actually overwritten a previous section that I'd synced up. So let me just undo that. That's what happened. When it snapped it, what it will do is it will drag this clip over anything. So as I know that the audio that's uh, going to be synced up is around this area where the uh, cursor is hovering, I'm just going to roll it back so that once I do that, it doesn't cut over this clip. So I now bring that forward. I highlight the two again. And I right click, click auto line based on waveform. Let's see what happens. Hopefully it won't cut over. Ah, this is better. So it still left my previous clip intact. And now. Sorry, one sec. Come with me. All in sync. Now, what all you'd need to do there is take your razor tool, trim that section out. Disregard anything else. Oops. And the beautiful thing about DaVinci is that once you click and delete that section, you can now just kind of know that that section is cleared and sorted out. Now, I want to move to the next section now. I'll just move this along. Listen to the camera's audio only by soloing, just to check what we're dealing with. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so to show you how we fix it, come with me. Show you how we fix it, come with to me. Show you Okay, so I'm, again, I'm just going to highlight. Now, I might need to extend out again um, and just give it a bit of a test because if you haven't got the, 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 the waveform showing that section that you're trying to sync, it might not sync it. It might just come up with an error saying it didn't find it. So let's right click again, highlighting both um, audios from the camera and the zoom recorder based on waveform once again. And let's see what happens. Snap, snap straight to grid. Again, you will just cut your 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 parts out, disregard the rest, and you just go through clip by clip in this method. And before you know it, you will have all the sections that you need with the audio correctly synced. If you find this helpful, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.